beautiful city. Tell them goodbye and wait tonight, 445 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Bloods. Ladies and gentlemen, their opponents from their own private hell. Total combined weight, 500 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Headbangers. Okay, we're set to go with more action here. Uh, Chance, this is probably a match you'll like. You were complaining the last match about how two of the so-called fan favorites were in the ring against each other. Now we've got two, uh, two tag teams that are right up your alley. We've got uh, Eddie Golden and Stan Lee, the beautiful blondes, taking on Mosh and Thrasher, the headbangers. You got that right, Alan. I'll tell you what, I'm excited about this match because all four guys, they don't care what the fans think. The only thing they care about is a payday and championship belts. And, uh, hey, they're all four good friends of mine, so... I hate to see either one of them lose, just to be honest with you. Well, the Blondes have held uh, tag team titles throughout the Southeast, uh, Southern States Wrestling, Tennessee Mountain, titles in the Carolinas and in uh, Northern Georgia. They are no strangers to tag team wrestling, and neither are the headbangers. Yeah, you know, the Blondes, they're uh, more of the independent scene, and Mosh and Thrasher, they've had to break into the big time. And I tell you what, with the skirts, I'm not going to argue with them because a man has got enough guts to wear a skirt. Hey, he's got more guts than I've got, I can tell you that. Well, the Headbanger is an interesting story. Both of them uh, were trained at the Monster Factory in New Jersey by Larry Sharp, where uh, wrestlers such as Bam Bam, Bigelow, and Tatanka were trained. And uh, you know who trained Mosh? I have not a clue. Thrasher. Huh, interesting. Uh, Who cares? At one point, Larry Sharp opened uh, a second monster factory in Florida, and Thrasher took over the training duties, and uh, he found this uh, kid, Mosh, and liked him enough that uh, they decided to team up. Uh, they worked uh, up in the WWA, then they went down to Smoky Mountain, and uh, they've been in the, the WWF as of late. Right now, he's got a uh, arm lock on him, and he throws him down on the mat. I think there was a hair pull there. Well, I didn't see it. Apparently, the monster's acting up. But you know what? Back to that little story you was telling me. Who was Tatanka? Uh, Tatanka was in the uh, the WWF. He also wrestled in South Atlantic Pro Wrestling. He was uh, the champion there. He beat uh, Robert Fuller for the SAPW belt. What, whatever happened to him? I don't know. I think he's on some farm somewhere. But I can tell you one thing about Tatanka. I think he's I, unemployed. I heard, I, th I heard he was working at Disneyland, Robert Fuller. <laughs> That's pretty good, Alan. That's my job, you know. All right, back to the action right now. Well, they're, uh, both teams are very tentative, uh, almost to the point you know, where they, they don't want to lock up with each other because they know uh, each other uh, is a great team and uh, they're almost afraid to uh, get themselves out now. Now Mosh almost got himself in trouble, but uh, Thrasher ducked out of the way and Stan hit his own partner. Yeah, you know, it's sort of strange because usually the blinds are outsmarting the other uh, opponents in here. Mosh and Thrasher, they look like they graduated from third grade and they're outsmarting the, the blonde. So, hey, go figure. IPW, you never know what's going to happen. It is completely unpredictable, Nick. And you do have to remember, in the world of professional wrestling, all it takes is three seconds. And uh, the tide can turn, and you can find yourself going to uh, the loser's end of the pay window. Referee uh, for this match is James McCone out of Charlotte. And uh, right now, Thrasher's got him. Uh, he's got the legs hooked, and he's also pulling back on the arms there. That's got to hurt. <laughs> Eddie Golden in a lot of pain, as you can tell by the expression on his face. Thrasher rolls him over. Here's a no, sir. I thought he had him down for a three count that quick. Well, now there's a rake of the eyes. A couple of big boots to the uh, midsection there. And Thrasher's uh, got him where he wants him, picks him up. Nice body slam. He, he must have got eight feet in the air on that. Eddie Golden went for the tag, but he went to the wrong corner and Mosh uh, showed him that uh, probably shouldn't do that in the future. Well, I'll tell you what, Eddie Golden is in a world of trouble because he's used to uh, taking the shortcuts, if you know what I mean. Now he's in there with a tag team that's uh, just a little bit more uh, violent than they are. So, hey, nice clothesline off the top rope, by the way. Nice double team maneuver by the headbangers. Here's a count. Golden kicks out at two. And uh, Stan tried to get in the ring, so Mosh uh, gave him the once for well, as usual, the referee giving uh, the blondes a hard time and, and uh, the headbangers, they're just outsmarting them. Just, that's bottom line. Got him draped over that top rope and Eddie Golden is in trouble. Oh my goodness. Come down hard on his back. 
Who'd have thought the headbangers could actually outsmart anyone? That is uh, rather surprising, although. It's a scary thought. They are using some good uh, wrestling holds here. Got him again uh, in a front face lock. You know, uh, I think a lot of these wrestlers have uh, watched some of the uh, shoot wrestling from over in Japan and in the United States, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, because I see more and more wrestlers incorporating uh, some of the holds you see on, on those shows uh, in the pro wrestling ring, and they've had varying degrees of success. But here's an old pro wrestling favorite, the nice chop. Uh, whips him in the turnbuckle, Golden reverses it, and uh, connects with a, a nice backdrop. Big Rick, boot to the midsection. Rick and Wahoo taught him to chop like that. I don't know. Uh, it's King Wahoo's of Geritol. <laughs> <laughs> Need I say more? Is Wahoo even wrestling anymore? Uh, Does he work for IPW or what? Uh, Wahoo uh, uh, d does not work for IPW Pro Wrestling. Uh, I doubt you'll see him uh, in the future, but he is still working uh, around the Carolinas, although I do believe he is on a uh, retirement tour. Right now, he's uh, working uh, a farewell show in uh, some of the cities throughout the Carolinas. In Washington, North Carolina, on March 9th, he's having his retirement match uh, in Washington, taking on Billy Black, who you will see in action here later on tonight against uh, Freebird Terry Gordy. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't like giving the old-timers such a hard time because, you know, there are a lot of them are good friends of mine, but i tell you right now, it's time for the new generation to take over. You know, the WWF, they've been saying that for a long time, and I believe it 100%. Get rid of all these old, washed-up has-beens that bring up the new guys. Well, this right here, this is one of the, the Blonde's favorite maneuvers, Eddie Golden raking the arm of Thrasher. And uh, they, they really like that move. They do it a lot. A great double team maneuver as Stan distracts the ref. And uh, yes, it's illegal, but uh, you do have to give them credit for uh, using the, the double team aspect, uh, which uh, is a big, big uh, thing here in tag team wrestling. And they're going for it again. He's got Thrasher by the arm and Stan uh, distracting the ref uh, and Mosh. And Eddie, he might tear that arm off. I tell you what, the blinds have reversed this for sure. Now they're outsmarting uh, the headbangers. But hey, you know the headbangers together. They, if you combine them together, they might have a sixth grade education. So hey, you know, give them a break. Well, yes, that's true. But uh, in the in the wrestling ring, they definitely uh, know the ropes. And uh, I think the blinds are. Wait a second, Thrasher's reversed it. I I can't see. Uh, Eddie's he's he's yanking his own partner's arm. Eddie, turn around, please. Quit making a fool out of yourself. And now Thrashers and Mosh, they're outside the ring right in front of Eddie as he's pulling his own partner's arm. Eddie, there. <laughs> Eddie has found his partner right behind him with a uh, injured arm at this point. And Mosh and Thrasher, they're just laughing about it. I tell you, you, you never know what to expect here in IPW Pro Wrestling. Uh, Eddie Golden uh, and Stan Lee, I don't know. This is, uh, that's the second time they've uh, accidentally uh, hit each other or, or uh, put moves on each other I you know if I was Stan I wouldn't I wouldn't be too pleased about that well I blame this whole situation on the referee he should have told what? Eddie Golden what he was doing uh, now that that was uncalled for uh, Thrasher uh, showing off to uh, some of the fans at ringside showing them his toolbox I believe <laughs> his toolbox I tell you what now Thrasher uh, he's one to uh, uh, not take example from you know kids ought to look up to him you know Try to be like Thrasher when you grow up. Uh, I, I do want to say that the uh, comments of the boss, Chance Williams, are do not necessarily reflect the views of IPW professional wrestling, and kids, don't listen to him. He does not know what he is talking about. Mosh with a big body slam. Tide has turned for sure after that uh, backfire, uh, and for good measure, just in case, he gives uh, Eddie Golden a nice elbow. That was a nice elbow drop. I tell you what, you know, the headbangers, they got the look, and they wear skirts to the ring and all these heavy metal bands on their T-shirts. But I tell you what, now the boys can wrestle. There's no doubt about it. Oh, most definitely. And right now you see uh, Thrasher going up to the ropes. Mosh. They're both going up to the ropes. Again, having a little trouble on the ropes here. Now, what, what are they doing? Thrasher picked Mosh up and slammed him on top of... Uh, on top of Stan there, nice double team maneuver. I've never seen that before. Now I tell you what, this is what I don't agree with. If you got him down for a three count, you better take it because the IPW can reverse on you in a heartbeat. Definitely, and this is the, the second straight match we've seen wrestlers do that. Uh, in the first match, it uh, backfired against him, and now Stan with a big boot 
it looks like it may have the same result uh, here in this bout. Sands got him now. Oh, a nice neck breaker. You know, I, I picture Stan with darker hair. He, he could pass for the honky tonk man. The honky tonk man. That's a little shake, rattle, and roll he, he put on Mosh. Well, that's another king of Geritol. You put him in Wahoo, and you can have a Geritol on a pole match. <laughs> now the, the blondes with double team maneuver and throw Mosh. Keep the, see, they're keeping Mosh in their corner, and that is one of the keys of success to tag team wrestling. Because if you if you cut off uh, you cut the ring off in the center, it's impossible for Mosh to get over and make the tag, and uh, you can uh, tag in and out, and keep yourselves fresh while Mosh gets tired. Now he's got him in a uh, in a headlock. Mosh gets up to his feet, throws him into the ropes, and a big knee to the midsection there. Eddie Golden is feeling the effects of it, that is for sure. And I tell you what, coming up on the card, who all we got? Brad Armstrong, we've got uh, Terry Bam Bam Gordy, Billy Black, Body Count, the Gangsters. Nice power slam by Mosh. And don't forget, Jumpin' Joey Maggs is in the house. The WCW fan favorite, Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania running wild here at IPW. I'm telling you, WCW stars, I, I don't know if they're looking for a way out, but... Uh, Joey's definitely uh, wrestling here in IPW, and who knows, you may see some other WCW wrestlers here in the future. A uh, nice double-team double, uh, double team maneuver by the headbangers there. Well, I'll guarantee you one thing. You won't see no squash matches here in IPW. All you see is the finest competition, and, and uh, I tell you what, Hulk Hogan, stay in WCW is all I got to say. <laughs> well, all four men are in the ring, but now uh, Thrasher and Stan work their way outside the ring. And uh, it's Eddie and, and Mosh. Eddie's got him, throws him into the ropes, going for a backflip, but uh, he telegraphed that, and Mosh was able to give him a, a knee to the head. Now he's got him up. Oh, this is the, the headbanger's patented double-team maneuver. This is called the stage dive. If uh, our cameraman was not, a, was not a drunken fool, you would have been able to see that wonderful maneuver. But uh, trust me, it was a good one. Wake him up, he was asleep. I, see, that's the problem when you run a show in a bar. So uh, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see what happens. 